Hello everybody, it's Vegetarian here, and welcome back to Terraria. Now in the last episode, we did some more mining, we found a mushroom biome, and we got a lucky horseshoe. And it's menacing? I did not realize it was menacing, oh my gosh. Well, as you can see, since we have the lucky horseshoe, and since we have grav potions in our inventory, today we are going to go hunting for Sky Islands. I'm super excited. We can get some wings, we can get the Star Fury, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, without any further ado, I'm at the center of our world, let's buff up, and here we go! Oh, and hunted for some Sky Islands. I am so hyped. Wait, we found one already? I'm not even going to cut that. I don't know if this is a lake or an island. It's an island! Whoa, we found one already? Alright, first drop is a Star Fury. Alright. Oh, another one! Alright! Yes! Fledgling wings! Oh, oh, this is lovely. Uh, I'm gonna put it on in place of the horseshoe, because the wings can't stop fall damage, and that's what, also what the horseshoe does. Whoops. Ooh, another one! Alright, we got a sky lake now. So this will actually be really useful. So now we know where our sky lake is. Where is it? Oh, great. It's right above the desert, which is right next to the crimson. Oh, harpies! I'll give you guys an example- a demonstration of the star fury. So what it does is, once you swing it, a star will come down and hit your enemy. Wherever your cursor is. Just trying to aim it, but I can't really aim that well. Yeah, hunting for Skylands isn't the most exciting. Oh, the jungle! Well, we found the jungle. Ooh, Sky Island. Is it a lake? I think it's a Yep, it's a lake. Okay. Alright, our first grav potion has run out. So, since we have one more, we might as well go explore the right side of the world. But first, since we're here, I want to try to make it to the ocean. See? No fall damage. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is great. Oh wait, I almost just went- I almost just missed his water chest. Uh, just an inner tube. That's alright. Hold on. This- Ooh, This is an enchanted sword shrine shaft! Hold on, there's also a chest here. Umbrella? Cool. Ooh, Let's go! I wonder if it's gonna be a real one or not. Alright, here we go guys. Moment of truth. I know you can't see, but that's the point! Oh, wait. Oh, I think it's real! I think it's real! Yep. Yup, it's real! We got an enchanted sword. Uh, get rid of this dirt. Oh, we got a freaking enchanted sword! Oh, this is great. This is a great episode for upgrades. Oh, this is lovely. And now we don't have to search for it later when we have to make the zenith. Look at this! Yes! I'm putting this on my main... I'm putting this on my hotbar. Get rid of the spear. And it's auto swing! Oh, this is lovely. Ooh, ooh, day bloom. Uh, I'm gonna need that. Uh, don't want this copper and don't want this sandcastle bucket. Trying to get to the ocean. And here we are at the ocean. Now, please let there be an angler here. Ah, no rare creatures nearby. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Um. Have, all right, there we, we have a gills potion, so I'm gonna consume this and we are gonna- Oh, there is an angler. He spawns somewhere. Oh, we probably spawned to the- to the- to the right. Hang on. It's another NPC. Yep, there he is. Hello, Mr. Angler. What's you what you got for us? Surface four. So the angler, he'll give you fishing quests for you and you can go fish up a fish where- he says to fish up the fish. If you give him the fish by the end of the day, he'll give you an item. I'm just nervous of sharks. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab some coral. I know you guys can't see. I'm really sorry about that. But it's underwater. I can't really... Actually, wait, I have a mining helmet, right? Alright, yeah, that, that helps. I'm trying to mine out a bunch of coral for, I think, fishing potions is what coral is used for. And I'm trying to find some underwater chests so you can get some water boots. Water walking boots. First chest. Uh, nothing really good. Here, we'll, 
We'll take the swiftness potions and then throw the rest of these in the trash. And we'll take the water chest. Ooh, it's one of those special oceans. Oh, this is good. Let's go over here. Water flippers. Sure. Uh, we don't really need the silver bars anymore. So I'll throw those away. Give me the chest. I'm just afraid of sharks. Oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the damn devil. Hello. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna try to keep him at bay. Yeah, what's up? I, I'm on the same wavelength as you, man. I can breathe water, too. Right, let me try using the Star Fury. Oh, gosh. Oh, no! That's all I want to do! Ah! Dang it! Ah, oh, man. I actually magic mirrored. Great. Alright, now time to... What? The angler died? Oh, no. <laughs> He was still at the he was still at the ocean biome and he died. <laughs> Oops. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Um Oh no. You feel even that's that's the eye of Cthulhu. Oh no 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 I gotta get back to ice base now. I need to get my buff potions. Sir, actually piss off. Okay, the eye of Cthulhu and the King Slime, they're the starting bosses. But in expert mode, the Eye of Cthulhu is by far the most difficult. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm scared. I just need to make it in time. I just need to make it in time. I just okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go 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 go. Potions, potions, potions. Here, put this away. Give me this cherry. Give me this. Give me this. Give me that. Give me this. And we'll take a shine potion. All right. Come on, I. I'm ready for you. I'm ready. Okay, I'm sorry. Here he is. Where is he? Where is he? All right, here he comes. I know we're putting our townspeople in danger. Oh my gosh. Yep, come on. Come on. Come on. I don't even have an arena set up. I gotta build an arena. He d Luckily, he doesn't really... He's not threatening in first form. So you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna... Fire a bunch of frostburn arrows. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, watch out for his little minions. Right, go down, go down, go down. Go up! Yeah, I have Cthulhu. He's our first nocturnal boss. So, if it gets to 4.30 a.m., he will despawn. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. Oh, da -da 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 dear. Oh, shoot! Oh, my gosh. There are so many little eyes. Go, 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 go. Ah! Ah! Uh. Alright, so far we're doing good. I'm trying not to pick up any of the hearts on the floor. Because I'm trying to save those. Oh! For second form! Because he likes to do little dashies. Where's his fast dashies? Those are his small dashies. We're not worried about that. Oh, jeez! Go! Oh! Come on! Come on, clutch this! We can't have two boss fight losses in a row! Oh no, he's just doing the big dashies! He's just doing the big dashies! Gosh, why? He's trying to munch on the zoologist! Oh, he got me! Alright, come on! Oh. Ah! Come on, he has how much health? 500 health left. Come on, we almost got him! I don't want to heal yet, I don't want to heal yet. Alright, I'm gonna heal now. He's just doing dashies! Oh my gosh, look at all this! Come on! Yes! Take that! Oh! Oh, there's his treasure bag. Oh. So in expert mode and master mode, when you defeat a boss, they drop a treasure bag, which they drop all their drops. And they drop a special expert mode item. I'm super excited because I really love this expert mode item. The Shield of Cthulhu. It gives you a dash. And I'm so hyped for that. All right. um, We're going to put the metal detector off. 
and we're gonna put the shield of Cthulhu on. All right, all right. Look at this, guys. Look at this dash. Look at this dash. Yes. First boss defeated. Let's go. All right, so now we're actually gonna explore the right side of the world with the graph potion. So here we go. Also, if you have a metal detector, a good way to see if a sky island is nearby is sky islands usually have ore on them. So you'll see uh, on the metal detector, it'll say that there's some ore nearby. Oh, yep, see? Right here. Also, a good way to find sky islands is if you notice places on your world that falling stars don't fall, then they'll fall on sky islands. And that's usually where sky islands will be. Another star fury. Oh, here we are. Yet another sky island. What's this, four or five? Ooh, a lot of fallen stars on this one. And what do we got? Another star. Wow, we are just getting a bunch of star furies. Oh, oh, sky lake. Oh, no, sky island. La this is our last one, so we only have three seconds left on our grab potion. And we got... Yes! A shiny red balloon! That's what I wanted. Now, we can make a blizzard in a balloon. But we can't make it yet, because we don't have a Tinkerer's Workshop. But let us fly down and see where we end up. Oh great! The Crimson! I love this place. But I have more weapons and more equipment. Ooh! Ooh, we got a Dryad! Ooh. You, the Dryad spawns after you defeat a single boss. Oh, we made it to the ocean! Wow, we don't have any giant, giant trees on our world, right? Well, I guess there could be around here. Well, no, that's a jungle. That's a little disappointing. I was really looking forward to seeing some giant trees. Alright, now for this one, we're just gonna run. We don't have any gills potions, so we're just gonna go. I need some water walking boots. Well, really great haul. Uh, I got a lot of good items. That was not good. <laughs> so we technically made it to the right and left hand side of the world. Oh, my oh yeah, because I removed my spawn point. So I'm going to go put these away, and then we are going to proceed with the episode. All right. All right, Nathan the Angler has arrived. We'll see if we can do an Angler quest. Let's see what he asked for. Oh, no! They spawned on Sky Islands! Oh, no. Um, are all the houses full? Okay, no. These two aren't full. So we're going to bring you here, and we're going to bring you here. And then we're going to need to build another structure to house more NPCs. Alright, we're going to go pay the angler a visit and see what fishing quests he needs. If it is within our reach, then we shall go and catch that fish. Alright, here we are. Hello, Mr. Angler. What do you got for us? Con underground and caverns. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we have bodies of water in the underground caverns. Let's go. Yep, here are all of our bait. Ooh, we have a can of worms. I did not even realize we had one. Ooh, an enchanted nightcrawler. Nice. Uh, this body of water should suffice. All right, we got a nice fishing spot, so here we go. First fish of the series will be a bass. Okay, of course it is. Bass is the most basic fish. Yeah, we're going to search for wider fishing ponds. Yep, I think this should be wide enough. Yeah, it looks like 300 blocks. So, let us commence the... Hold up. First, let's light up the area, then let us commence some fishing. Yes, we got it! We got the jewel fish! Ooh! 
Maybe that's why there are lanterns in the sky that increase our luck. Hello. What are you going to give us? One gold and a fishing potion. Hello, Miss Dryad. She'll basically tell you the corruption status of your world. It's 3% crimson. Okay. She'll also sell you a bunch of seeds and planters and purification powder, which can be used to purify any sort of evil. All right, let's see what we got in our wooden crate. Uh, some mine potions, some tin ore, and some silver. All right, not bad. So that's where we're going to end this episode. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to get notified whenever I upload. So yeah, that's all. Bye, guys.